Hey folks, before I get to today's paper computer game, I just wanted to say happy birthday to Salman Ahmad. He's been a super awesome guy. He does drawings on his channel, and they, and it's a lot of fun. He also makes some paper computer games. It's really cool, and he's just started a new channel where he is apparently a fish. So you should subscribe to that thing right now because uh, he is a really cool dude and deserves all the subscribers in the universe. Happy birthday, dude. And uh, now to today's game. Hey folks, so this is part of a PCG Roundabout series. The other parts will be down in the uh, description below. If you'd like to make the next part and continue this story after this game, uh, leave a comment down below and you can do that. This game, uh, this is my new installment. It is in, uh, it, it follows immediately after Salman Ahmad's last game in this roundabout. Uh, which is called Revenge of the Fat Guy. I call this one Escape of the Fat Guy. It follows immediately after that game, and, it, and as you will all recall, at the end of that game, the, uh, the fat guy ate so much that he just had exploded. So here he is, having just exploded. We're in the same kitchen, uh, the uh, but you know from a slightly different angle. And uh, here is, you know, it's all gory, just gore, like meat everywhere. And you are here. You are kind of emerging from the meat. Uh, you being the player, and the player today is Tutorial Bot. How's it going, buddy? I am well, thank you. So, uh, what do you do? Who is this individual? This is Walter. He is the guy, he was originally the nice guy from Salman Ahmad's games, and uh, now the fat guy has invaded his home believing that he owes him, and now the fat guy has exploded. So he's kind of holding his head like, oh, what is going on? And yeah, so uh, what do you do? It seems logical to escape this place at this time. I will attempt to go past him and exit this house. Alright, you try to go past him, but he recovers his senses and he sees a, th a creepy, you know, little thing covered with gore coming towards him. He, he, you know, picks up this broom, which is next to him, and like, swats you with it. <laughs> uh, that is game over. Very well, save game. <laughs> I will attempt to get the frying pan atop the stove. Yeah, you can't really get up there, you're kind of like, really short and like, weak. Like, you just kind of, you know, emerged into existence, and you, you just can't like, make it up there. You're like, you're kind of slow and you're kind of weak. Very well. I will... Hmm. I will attempt to run this way. Alright, so there isn't really any exit over here, uh, this is the, the only exits are in this direction, um, there's like, a living room over this way, and like, as you can see, there's a hall that goes that way, and, uh, so you try to run this way, he just catches you and kills you with the roof room. Very well, save game. In that case, I will fall into the gore and attempt to play dead. Alright, you play dead, but the thing about that is, he uh, comes towards you uh, with the broom anyway. He, he, it works, he doesn't notice that it's you, but he starts cleaning up the gore and uh, with the broom, so he's going to get to you shortly. What do you do? I will wait until he is looking at another piece of gore, and then I will attempt to slowly and quietly move further out of his reach. Alright, that works. You're getting pretty far away, but, um, he notices you, and he comes after you. Uh, and he kills you. Very well, save game to right before he noticed me, and then I will play dead again. Alright, it works. He, uh, looks back to the other gore. I mean, it works because, like, even though you moved, he didn't really notice it because there's just gore everywhere, so he's not surprised to see some more of it, like, that's further away. So, yeah, he, uh, he keeps cleaning up over here, and, uh, what do you do? I will attempt to go further away and go down this hall. 
Alright, uh, because you went around this corner, you make it. As soon as you, uh, you, you're able to get to the edge of this, and then you just kind of go behind this counter here. And then he can't see you anymore. And you're able to kind of waddle down the corridor, so you have a little bit of time before he catches you. And that is the end of this game. Uh, whoever uh, makes the next game, the rule is that you have to use any one character from this game. As you can see, there's only two characters that I'm aware of, but if you can find any other characters in this game, you are welcome to use any one of those as well. That, that character can be anywhere in the game, can take on any role, but there just has to be at least one uh, character from this game in whatever game you make. So that was our PCG Roundabout for today. Thank you, folks. And have uh, have a nice day.